The Q's RD U6020-10 derailleur is Shimano's 10-speed trail and e-bike derailleur. In this video, I'm going to measure the pull ratio of this derailleur and compare it to Shimano's RD M4120 derailleur. This Shimano Q's 10-speed derailleur has a standard cable-actuated derailleur design. Pulling cable moves the chain toward the bike, selecting easier gears while relaxing cable allows the derailleur to move away from the bike, selecting harder gears. When measuring the motion of the derailleur, I pull small amounts of cable and measure how far the jockey wheel moves as a result. To measure the motion of the derailleur, I did three runs pulling cable and three runs relaxing cable by one third of a millimeter at a time, taking 652 measurements in total. Here you can see how the rate of derailleur movement changes as you pull more cable. To figure out the average pull ratio, I first found the best fit line through each of the six runs. Then, I combined the best fit lines of all the runs into a single equation. The pull ratio isn't constant, so I used the equation to average the pull ratio from the second smallest cog to the second largest cog. The blue line is the measured pull ratio. I used the blue line to determine the average pull ratio of 1.06. On average, pulling one millimeter of cable moves the jockey wheel by 1.06 millimeters. I noticed that Shimano's Dior RD M4120 11 speed derailleur appears to be nearly interchangeable with this Q's derailleur. They have very different features, but their specifications appear to be very similar. They both clear large cogs and can wrap a large amount of chain, allowing you to get wide range with low gears. One important difference is that the Dior derailleur has a clutch, but the Q's derailleur does not. Importantly, the Q's derailleur and the Dior derailleur have nearly the same pull ratio and the same flat pull ratio curve. These attributes imply that you could potentially use this Dior derailleur on a Q's 10-speed drivetrain, and you could potentially use this Q's derailleur on 10 or 11-speed mountain bike drivetrains. Thank you for watching. I've laid out all the specs here for reference, and I encourage you to find the info page link in the description to see more information about this derailleur.